everyone, I am Mariko, your eHow food expert. Today I'm going to share a great recipe for easy gingerbread. I have been making gingerbread ever since I was a little girl, so if I can make it, you can definitely make it at home yourselves. To get started, you will want a large mixing bowl. In it, I'm going to add one stick of butter, that's a half a cup. I'm going to add a half a cup of white sugar. I'm going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of ground ginger. I'm actually going to put a little bit extra ginger in there because I love that extra spice. And then a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm going to add one egg. and a cup of molasses. Now I'm just going to get this blended, I'm just going to get this started mixing until it's blended together perfectly. My easy gingerbread recipe has been mixing for just a couple minutes and now it is perfectly smooth. Now I'm going to add two and a half cups of flour. You could use a gluten-free flour mixture or an organic flour mixture or even whole wheat. I love this recipe because it's so versatile. Now I'm just gonna mix everything together until smooth. You'll wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees and get your baking dish ready. So for this recipe, you could use a nine inch square or round baking pan. All you would need to do is grease the edges and put it in the oven. Because we're doing holiday baking today, I thought it'd be really cute to use these fun little loaf pans. These are great because you can bake in them just like this and they're ready to go for gifts. Now that my mixture is looking nice and smooth, I'm going to add one cup of hot water. I'm just adding water to the cup that my molasses was in so I can get a little bit of that little extra molasses in there. For this recipe, you want to make sure to use hot water because it's going to help all the ingredients combine better, but it's also going to mix with the baking soda so you get a nice fluffy texture to it. Now my batter is smooth and it is ready to pour into my pans. For these little loaf pans, I'm going to do about a cup of batter in each one. You could also make these into cupcake tins or whatever little containers you have. Now I'm going to bake these in a 350 degree oven for about an hour. This is Mariko showing you a recipe for easy gingerbread. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.